All right. All right. So as I was saying, moderators, uh, and everyone that's inside of our, our this is our uh, end of week uh, discussion interview. We're going to be talking with Mr. Options One. And uh, Mr. O1 has been in the Discord for some time and has hit some milestones. He's been through the trainings. We'll let him talk. Now, this is going to be a, um, how about we do this? Let me change the view here. This is going to be a, a, a second, I guess, a, a follow-up to the first interview. And uh, what we're doing here is we're trying to help you all to see what it takes to hit the numbers uh, that myself and other traders, um, good traders, you can call them what you want, good traders, elite traders, high-level traders, doesn't matter. The idea is to be consistent in the market, right? That's the idea. So, um, you know, we we want we want you to understand what it takes, right? And we want you to understand um, how to what it takes to get there, right? That's what we want you to kind of take away from all of this, okay? So, give me one second here. Go back. All right, all right. So we're just getting set up here. We'll get rolling in a minute. Make sure your name is your Discord name. If not, I'm going to kick you out before we get rolling here. So I'll give you a minute to adjust your name. I see some folks in here. I don't know who you are, but make sure it's your Discord name. Otherwise, I'm going to kick you out. All right. Uh, and I appreciate the the uh, the moderators, the help, and the work that you do. All right. Uh, very helpful in the Discord. Um, your your trading success and just your overall well being is my concern. Um, so, all right, let's just see here. All right, so a little bit of a run up in the market today is four five twenty twenty four. Uh, can you guys see me? All right, let's we can we can respond inside of the Killer Wells private channel. Give me a thumbs up in the private channel, Killer Wells private channel. If you can see me, all right? All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, good, 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 good. Excellent. All right. I can see your big head. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Troublemaker. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Can you tell uh, we got love <laughs> for our trees? Can you, can you just tell <laughs> the swing queen? Um, is Jason76 in here? Jason in here? I don't know if he is right now. I got to kick it with that guy too. All right. Well, you know, it's a Friday midday. All right. And uh, excellent day. Excellent run up yesterday. Six figure day, multiple six figure day. Some of you guys had five figure days. We're talking about six figure months. All right. So, so for some of you guys, um, let me get my, uh, let me get my chart view set up and my, my rather my uh, zoom view set up here. I want to make sure that we're on a side by side here. All right. Okay. All right. So for for many of you guys, um, you, you're meeting me for the first time. Typically, in the past, I never show my face, and I, I very rarely do. It doesn't matter. I, I don't care to, but I, I want the the information and the training to be the driver. So. Um, how you doing? My name is KD. All right. If you haven't uh, met me, uh, two years ago, about give or take, I I um, was introduced to the world of Discord. Before that, I had no clue what a Discord was. All right. There was a person inside this community here that introduced me to Discord. And said, "Hey, there's other communities where people are trading, like-minded, etc. You know, we can start networking and trading with other individuals outside of our local group. So cool." Um. Well, I joined two communities and they were absolute trash. I mean, I, I, I want to say their heart was in the right place, but the language, the trading skill, um, just the ideology, all, all kinds of things. It was just not, it, it wasn't for me. Now, maybe it's for you. I'm not trying to sell pallets. I'm not trying to sell things on Amazon. I'm not trying to explore every hustle in the world. I, I, I day trade. Um, and so I quickly realized that if I was going to be impactful and be impacted, I need to form my own community. I started this community completely free, right? It was open to anyone. I would stay on all day. Anyone that knows uh, has been here for that amount of time, they know that. Um, and then, of course, inevitably, the jabronis, the idiots, the scammers came in. So we had to layer this thing and really treat it 
treated as such. We had to treat it uh, with higher value. I would train people, give you my all, and then we had to figure out structures for that. So here we are today. We're, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. And uh, we, um, the Wealth Wells is the name of my community. Now, the ideology is to trade like a Wall Street well. No one's saying I'm a well. I have enough capital to, to make a dent in my life, in my world, and in some areas of the market. But uh, I, I wouldn't ever risk it all. So I'm not a well. Um, no one's saying you're going to be a well. The ideology is to trade like a Wall Street well. Very simple. What does Wall Street do? What tools do they use? What is their mindset? What is their mentality? What is their approach? Every single day. And that's how you trade. So I don't use lagging indicators to make trading decisions. I don't use uh, you know technical analysis only. Uh, there are traders that use something called the strat. More power to you if that's what you're going to use for day trading. I think you're going to fail. That's just my opinion. Lagging indicators, you keep using that stuff. You're going to fail ultimately. And you know it's the truth. You're only 50% at best. Uh, patterns, okay? People using, you know, cup and handle and things like that. Okay, I can see the patterns. I don't use them to make trading decisions. Supply and demand, that's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You, you're marking all these supply and demand zones on your screen. You don't know what, when the trade is going to break. All right. That's not how I trade. Now, if you trade like that, that's on you. Don't come into my Discord fussing, cussing, and fussing. All right. That's how you do it. All right. So I've got plenty of videos out there where I show the proof, plenty of videos out there where my call outs, where I've done five figures, six figures in a day, in a week, in a month, and so on. Right. Now we have people turning the corner and they're also doing uh, five and six figures in a day and in a month. So we're going to talk with Mr. Options One and have a conversation with him and see get an update where he's at you guys get to see his mug use mugs all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. what's up mr oh <laughs> well, one oh nothing much let me just yeah, let me move my stop here you still we start rolling talking. With thing? yeah me too <laughs> me too me too all right guys so we we've just hit and you can check the levels channel 518.15 was the next target the next target after that is 519.53 however we're we're moving through those um uh, pools of liquidity for sale volume on SPX. So we got one sitting at 521157. We've just pushed past the POC 5205.94. So if I were you, I would just trail on candle breaks now. All right. This is a cover, right? And and we got the move that we we you know I discussed earlier as far as a, a fake and a trap at the bottom. And so this thing is just kind of moving. So I would just set it and forget it especially as we discuss and we go through our little, our little conversation here. But uh, all right, man. So, uh, you know, I, I'd like to just get the folks a little acquainted with you. Maybe they didn't see the first yeah. one or listen to the first one. So as much as you'd like to share with some 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 measure of you know, anonymity and privacy, I, I get it, right? I'm yeah. that way as well. But um, tell me a little bit about yourself, your background, and how you came to find the Wealth Wells. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I got some notes here, so I'll be looking right. down and way and that's all right. I'll try, you, you better be looking look at, at that position, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 done. Like what I get is what I get now. But yep. yeah, gotcha. so um, you know, like you said, we did you know a conversation before. I know a lot of people have heard about that video. Um, uh, funny you say you know two years ago because two years ago this month I was looking back is exactly when I started my day trading journey. Right. So, and it wasn't with you, but you know, it was, it was, that's when, you know, I've always done like uh cash secure, secure puts, cover calls, long-term investing. You know, I got a bit of crypto. So I've, you know, I'm an older guy, I'm 49. So mm -hmm. I've, 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 you know, interested in the market and investing for a long time. A little bit of my background, uh, went to UGA, um, you know, I'm actually from Athens, grew up, you know, live in Atlanta, you know, you guys have probably seen some of my Georgia stuff, you know, in previous, you know, pictures or whatever. Um, computer science guy, uh, always loved computers since, you know, I was a kid. I had a, a Tandy TRS-80, learned how to color basic. Back <laughs> oh, man, life. you like, old, like, man. Oh, old, man. Old. Like I, was, <laughs> I was like 12 years old, like programming to color basic, right? So, yeah. you know, that's just kind of me. So, you know, did that, worked for various companies, you know, HP, always doing just all the technical stuff, networks, start off programming, went into networks, um, went into fintech, and, you know, currently now, you know, I'm in product management. So, you know, I've worked for the SunTrust, the U.S. banks, the world pays, all of fintech. Currently now I'm at Starbucks, um, you know, 
helping the mobile app, you know, become a little more fintech aware, payment options, customer experience, user friendly, you know, just ease of use. So, you know, you know, I've, I've been in this business 25 years and so forth, had all different kind of positions, you know, currently now, you know, I'm a VP. So, you know, life is good. So, you know, a lot of people say, hey, you know, a guy like you, you really have no reason to, to, to enter into the world of day trade. You know, you've done it. Uh, two, you know, two teenage kids, you know, I was good, but I've always wanted to do it, always interested. And so I say, you know, I'm going to try the day trade thing like everybody else, YouTube University, found this group of guys, just to kind of brief recap. I've told this story before, found this group of guys, you know, uh, a big, huge 100, 200, 300 spot contracts at a time and just kind of doing small scout type, you know, and, 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 and that's a way of trading. But for a new trader, I don't recommend it. It's, it wasn't for me. And, um, you know, uh, that was back in April 2022. So just to kind of start the time mm-hmm. frame, um, you know, start working with them, got my confidence up. June had a really good June, made 25K June 2022. So I'm like, oh, man, I got this. I'm a smart guy. This this is not that hard. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm good. 20, 25K. I'm great. Next month, July, I lost 25K. So, oh, okay. my goodness. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm break yeah. even. I'm break even, Katie. I'm okay, right? I, you know, I'm new, so I'm giving myself some grace, right? But, you know, that's a huge swing. But, you know, yeah. you know, they kind of made me feel like, ah, oh, expect that. Don't worry about it. The next month, August 22, I lost 35K. So now I'm 35K in the hole, right? My own money, hard-earned money, hard earned mm-hmm. money, saved up and everything. And so uh, by September, I wanted to quit. You know, I was kind of afraid to pull the trigger. I didn't really understand what I was doing. Now I know I didn't really understand what I was doing. I want to quit. And then around end of September, October 2022, you popped up in my YouTube for some reason. I don't know why. And so I started looking at, you know, your stuff, your videos. I was like, oh man, this 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 sounds a lot better than what I'm doing. This guy seems like he's very knowledgeable. Seems like he knows what he's talking about. I don't know. I'm a new I'm really a new trader, honestly. All right, so, pause for one second, Mr. Options One. Uh, PT Met 519.53, guys. PT Met 519.53 on SPY. 519.80 is our next. You've got the levels as well. You should be locking on candle close. There's, this, there's a ton of sale volume there. However, we're moving through it. Now, we could get an aggressive cover. I don't know, but we could get an aggressive cover from this point, but we are moving pretty aggressively now. All right. Sorry about that. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, no problem. So, End of October, beginning of November, I joined the Wealth Clubs and I began my journey and, um, you know, took to training uh, zero and one out the bat. Realized immediately I knew nothing about <laughs> trading the market daily. I was like, what was I doing? I knew nothing. I was like, either this guy is totally wrong or I know nothing. <laughs> it's one of those two. There's no middle ground. <laughs> All the stuff you were talking about, no one has ever told me that. So, and that's just in zero and one levels and all that. No one told me how to do levels like that, you know, watch, you know, other indicators of market. So, so went through training, you know, just kind of stepped my way through training about two trains every month. And, you know, I learned a lot. And so 2023 rolls around January to June. I'm still kind of shy trading a little bit, but not really. So I decided, hey, I'm going to paper trade the West Wells way. You actually recommended it to me. And and you said, hey, paper trade for six months, right? You know, sharpen your skills, make sure, you know, all your questions are answered, find your edge, you know, find, find you know, the kind of trade you want. So I did that January to June 2023, 20, six months straight paper trade, you know, the wealth flows way, of course, but, you know, we were doing that. So, you know, you guys heard the story in the other video, you know, I kind of got good. I found my edge, my levels, I trusted them, you know, um, I'm, I'm taking them, you know, target to target, holding, um, you know, focusing on points instead of dollars, successful trades, all that good stuff. And so by July, I was ready to make real money. July 2023, first month, real money, I made 22K, right? So now I'm like, okay, this works. It had been working with paper trading, but, you know, real money now, you know, it kind of gives you that, okay. Oh, yeah. This is real it's now, getting right? real now. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> right. August, uh, August of last year, 2023. I hit about uh, 55K. And then September is when we made the video. That was my first month hitting 100K. I think I did like 103K in September, right? And again, that's just following all the principles we talked about and so forth. And, uh, you know, really, you know, 
uh, a lot of people have reached out to me, you know, in the wealth Wales, outside of wealth Wales. I'm like, how do you guys even know? And I go oh, YouTube, they probably watch the videos. Yeah. And, you know, we don't do that here. And there's no secret and, you know, not sharing secrets, even if there was a secret, but there's no secret. Right. And so, you know, my my secret is I'm just a consistent trader. I don't I don't feel like I'm a great trader at all, but I know what I can do. I'm a consistent trader. I've told other people here before, you know, um, that, you know, I know without a shadow of a doubt, I can pull 20 points, you know, out of the market on ES daily. I can do that. I can do 20 points. You know, you give me a morning session, an afternoon session, I can get 20 points. And so I've got to that point. And so right now, you know, I'm just adjusting my contract size and, you know, 5K a day will get you 100K a month. And, mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. to share a little bit where I'm at, I've, I've, I've inching up, you know, but, you know, by no means I'm, I'm, I'm where Katie is at all, but I'm inching up. So right now I'm averaging about 6,300 a day, which which is really putting me about 125 to 130 K a month. And, um, you know, just to catch everybody up on the numbers, because I know people want to hear the numbers. Um, mm -hmm. um, I, sometimes I feel a little way about it because I think it distracts people. I, I it agree with that. me a little bit, you I know, honestly. Yeah. But, you know, just to get it out of the way so people know, you know, February I hit 675. Um, uh, end of March I hit 800. And as of yesterday, we had a big day. Uh What's up, guys? Let's take a break from the training and the video interview that we're talking about right now. Uh, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and I am up trading what we call the early bird special. Now, uh, this setup is discussed in my book, How to Day Trade with a Full-Time Job, and in my training on the WealthWolfsTrading.com. Now, let me tell you something. If you work a full-time job, if you have a busy schedule, if you just you know have things going on in your life and you can't trade the core hours... And you're going to want to get all five setups inside of my book, How to Day Trade with a Full-Time Job, and to do it successfully. One of those setups is called the Early Bird Special. And let me tell you, we're going to the bank right now. I'm already up 20 points on NASDAQ, and uh, we're going to the bank. All right. So uh, I want to put a link attached to the video down below, right? I want you to grab the book. It's nominally priced. You can get the pair training. The training is discussed in the book. And um, I've got digital training that goes along with it where I show you step-by-step -step how to catch moves just like this and go to the bank. I'm already up 30 points. I want to get back to the market. Uh, also, the live callouts are inside the Discord as well, and we're crushing this thing, all right? So we're going to get back to the action. But uh, while you're sleeping, people are making money. If you show up, you'll go up, all right? How to day trade with a full-time job. Successfully get the ebook below, and let's go to the bank. See you later. Um, at 8.50. So. All right. All right, let's so pause. That, let's pause real. right there, folks, and uh, light up the chat. I mean, <laughs> let's give this man his roses. I mean, that that's as awesome. And I, I got a couple questions for you, though, Mister Options One. I, I do. I got to ask you this: Did I give you anything aside from personal conversations? Don't get me wrong, because there there's many people have, that have hit me up, and many people, you know, give, give I give the personal conversations to. But would you would you say that everything that you have learned from me, I've discussed and given to you from the training? Absolutely. Have I have Absolutely. I hidden have I hidden anything from you? Not a thing. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of things you've told me personally, you you've told the wealth whales just in the general chat conversations, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Rants, so whatever people want to call them, mm -hmm. you know, it, mm -hmm. you've said those things. And, you know, I, I pride myself in, you know, listening and kind of picking up and taking notes and dissecting my notes and putting them into practice. And I pride myself and I say, you know what, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put in practice what he says. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm not going to half step it. I'm going to do it. And so, honestly, um, yeah, there's no secret. Katie's having, he hasn't given me a magic, you know, <laughs> a magic indicator or anything uh, like right, that. Right. It's just about doing what he tells us and being consistent with and, it every day. Yeah. You won't have a day like yesterday every day. You may never have a day like yesterday once a month or maybe even once a week, but be consistent, be prepared for those days. You'll get those days. And, um, you know, base hits, base hits, base hits is what I preach. And then we'll hit home runs. And you inch <laughs> up from the, exactly. So, <clears throat> all right. So <laughs> I, I, I just, I really want to, you know, really clear and help people with that. Here's why. I did not, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not realize 
the type of retail mind that was out here before I started this. And that, that was on me. It was on me. The, 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 the naivete of just understanding the type of person that I would attract by just posting my strategy right. or my system. Once I got past the first year, I understood, okay, you really, you really have a lot of jabronis. You got a lot of yeah. idiots. You have a lot of scammers, a lot of negative people, a lot of um, just idiots, just flat out idiots. And I could, I could do a white paper. We could do a research I, and we should do it. We could do a research and a white paper, a whole study on the retail mind in the different categories. But, but I learned in the first year, wow, there's a lot of people that say they want to be good at this, but they don't really want to be good at no. this. Right. They, they say, they'll sit through the training. Oh yeah, I know this is not a get rich quick. I know I'm going to do a KD. I'm going to do a KD. And they ain't doing it. No. So, so with that, that's why I'm asking you these, these very simple questions. Like, hey, hey, did I give you anything? And we've had private conversations and, and, and Mr. Options won full transparency. He, he is a moderator, but he wasn't a moderator when he started. He wasn't a moderator all the time. And the moderators do have ex added access to me, but I can't teach you something that I don't know. So I, I really want to help people to understand this. All right. Yeah. Whether we yeah. make this interview public or not, I want you to understand something. You cannot listen to me now. All right, folks, you cannot make someone a millionaire unless you understand and have done it. it, it you, there ain't no scammer in the world that's going to give you a million dollars and spend nights with people. Right. It's, right. And so, so but I understand why people are the way they are, because there's so much junk out here. I get it. I, I get it. But I really wanted to just highlight that you have had access to the same information that I have drilled over and over to folks. Um, I may have in our conversation layered on and hammered down a little more seven figure uh, training with you, uh, but the, the core is there folks, the core is there. And there are other folks who who talk and, you know, I talk to in the discord, uh, they get the same. I, I don't want you right. to, you know, now, now how to get someone to seven figures it, it's a more of a boot camp scenario. It's a more of a, I need to stay on top of you. Some people, Go like this, others, you know, up and down, and then ultimately. But let me ask you this, Mr. Option. Did you think when you first started trading that you would hit this level in about two years? Uh no. Honestly, no. Honestly, you, you know, we talked before, and mm -hmm. you know, my my goal for the first year was 50k. And right, you know, right, talk about raise your standards, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about raise your standards, right? Yeah, I, I remember just, you. I you remember know. you saying something like that. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I was just so defeated from before. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make 50k, you know, just learn, you know, just you know, get feet up under me, whatever. And uh, you know, my ultimate goal was, you know, to replace replace my salary. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. Man, if I can replace my salary, man, this is a thing. I can do this and so forth. But you know, just kind of talking to you and realizing the possibilities. And so forth and realizing, you know, I keep saying the word consistency, but I'm, I'm telling you, the conversation with Katie, one thing that I always took from it and one thing that he's always preached, especially with me being a new trader, <laughs> three to five years, I say it's a new trader. If you don't have over five years, you're a new trader. Mm -hmm. Say what you want to say, feel the way you want to feel, you let pride get in the way. You you're a new trader. You're, you're a right. new trader. That's trust it. Me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so consistency. And so um, consistency was the key for me. Starting with training, so you know what you don't know. Trust me, you don't know. I thought I knew. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm a pretty smart guy. I, I, you know, I didn't know. Um, and and also tell yourself that this is going to be the hardest thing that you've ever done. And the reason I say that is because it's a trick for me. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it it, it assures that I, my work ethic exceeds what I'm trying to accomplish. And so. I'm making sure I'm working. I'm actually working harder than what I want to accomplish. So if I want to make a million dollars, I got to feel like I'm working harder than making a million dollars, you know, because I don't want to miss a thing. I got to stay on top of myself. I got to keep it going. I got to stay focused and all this stuff. You know? And, um, but yeah, yeah, man, that's, that's, you know, that was it. And, you know, just, I don't know. I feel like, you know, not just here, but, you know, I feel like everybody, you know, outside of this discord, but I feel like some people here, I feel like uh, I was where you are now. And, you know, sometimes you kind of get ahead of yourself mm -hmm. and it doesn't hurt to paper trade. Just think about 
it like this. You're validating your edge. If you think you have an edge, smart guy, and I'm talking to myself, mm -hmm. validate it. Why prove are you so afraid to validate it then? Why yeah. are you afraid to prove it? Yeah. Prove it. Now, and now to, if you to can't prove point, it, then you don't have an edge. It, 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 <laughs> now, to your point, so, so, and, and let's get some feedback, certainly from you, Mr. Options One. I mean, I know the answer to this question, but I want to make sure I'm not talking to, I'm talking to the right people. Um, do you, especially when we first started, at this point, I'm sure you should trust your own levels. But when we first started, did you look and say, man, how is this guy's levels on point like this? Did you did you say that to yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought I thought it was uh, <laughs> the closest you can get to magic. Right. Yeah. I don't believe in magic. That's all I was like, I was like whatever the level right below magic that, ha that that's all right. It right there. I've gotten that many times. <laughs> people have said this is wizardry. People have said this is sorcery. This is magic. I, I, I don't. KD, don't do none of that. Right. The first step before you even get there is to understand how Wall Street thinks. If you yeah. understand trade like a Wall Street well, if you understand how they think, you are going to be incredibly successful. Now, the reason I say that is because it comes down to, all right, Wall Street already thinks that you and I are dumb. They call us dumb money. It is, dumb it is what it is, and, and, and that's a very accurate statement. I've, I've realized that's even more accurate when I deal with a lot of retail traders nowadays. Okay. That's, it's like, man, this, this guy is dumb in, in respects to just their outlook, but we've all been there. I, I, I'll raise my hand. I have been there. Oh, I'm going to make a million dollars tomorrow, man. My first three trades, 177,000 gone. Boom, boom, boom. Like, Oh, right. I'm talking, you're talking about a gut punch. <laughs> How do you come back from that? Right. right. So, when I give you guys the tips, the jewels, the, the setups, all this stuff, I, it's coming from, I did that. I did that. I made that. I lost that. Then I made that again and lost that again. <laughs> I understand what that, that, that comes from. So I'm very happy. The, the, the thing that I'm most proud of with you and others, and I'll give them their shine when we do their interviews, guys. So if you if you stuck around this long, we're going to be doing likely about an interview a month, interview a quarter of those who I've isolated to be in the 50. Now, this is no secret. I've been working with 50 people, identifying 50 people to get them to a million dollars in the market in a calendar year. 1.2 million, 100 grand a month. Honestly, honestly, I could stop right now. There's enough people already in two years. There's enough people already hitting six figures, five figures. You're on your way. You're on your way. We got some incredible stories. My mission is to be the number one community that produces millionaires. That's it. That's it. We just, I just, whether I pump out one or 10 a year, I don't care. The idea is just, hey, who, when you stand up and raise your hand and say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be held accountable. Don't come bugging me talking about you ready for this and you ain't ready for this. <laughs> You're right now. Mr. Right, Ops right. once said it, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. But once you get through the gauntlet, you're going to be you're going to be incredible. Yeah. Now, let's yeah. talk about. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And I said I just want to add one thing to that. You know, uh, you know, it, it, you know, with my team, you know, I work with a lot of young people in technology and so forth. And I, and I often tell them, you know, something akin to this, but it, it applies to trading too. You know, you know, learn how to be the best trader that you can be, and not the trader that can do the least amount of work. I see that a lot. I see. You know, shortcuts, you know, people spend a lot of energy looking for shortcuts and not a lot of energy just wanting to do the work. So I think some of the mental hurdle is, man, I just got to do the work. And I think, uh, you know, either people are impatient for various reasons. Right. But, you know, again, be the best trader you can be and not always looking for the shortcut or mm -hmm. trying to do the least amount of work. Embrace mm -hmm. the work. Everything else will come. And then it becomes, it becomes normal. And that really segues into the, you know, really what I want to ask you mindset. All right. So at what point, because we, we got to really, when we talk about traders, I really want to highlight this. All right. Now, I, again, I, I question whether or not I'm going to put this video out or not because Lord knows the, the, the scammers and the, and the, they're going to come. And I'm really happy. I love having a small little, you know, boutique <laughs> community where we just kind of, you know, right. so, so I, you know, I don't know, but 
we have to highlight that doing, you know, six figures in the market every month is not common. We really need to state that, all right? It's, it's not common. The reason I am confident that you can get there, not just Mr. Options One, but the listener, is because if you come into obviously my community or my my mind, you'll understand that there is no difference between one hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, and one hundred thousand dollars. There is, as it pertains to what we trade in the market, there is absolutely no difference. Now I've got traders that I can't wait till we get you know in the months coming. Who's uh, we're doing this on multiple, uh, you know, derivatives, multiple uh, classes. So you're primarily trading futures. Yes. Yes. OK, good. But we've got folks swinging. We've got folks in options. We've got folks in futures. Right. So so I, I, I'm, I'm really going to enjoy those added conversations. But let's talk about the mindset. At what point like you're you're clocking, right? You're making some money. Uh -huh. At what point did you feel your mindset change? and say, hmm, I can do this. And then throttle yourself so that you can blow your and keep this thing moving forward. What, what point in your career so far would you say you notice a shift in mindset? Uh, you know, it's, it's you know, it hasn't been a real long career for me, but I would say, you know, I would say kind of end of last year, I would say really in November, you know, I had some jury duty, took some time off, had a work trip. You know, I missed some weeks there. And I was like, oh, man, I missed like two and a half weeks of really like trading consistently every day. And I was like, oh, man, I'm just, you know, well, I'm not going to hit it this month, whatever, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I just kind of stayed consistent and consistent, consistent, consistent. And that month, and I think we had like a couple days and, you know, you know, I hit over 30K or whatever. And I made it. And I was like, wow. I can make it that month, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, you know, I've been so, I've been so focused on a month. I'm like, man, I can kind of, I can really do this like two weeks. Like, you know, if it just stay yeah. focused and just be paid, mm -hmm. it, it could come around in two weeks, right? But not forcing it, not, you know, and, and for me and my personality, that's key for me, just being consistent, not forcing it, waiting on the opportunities and hitting it. And I think when we had that conversation, I don't know if you remember that conversation, but when, when, when you kind of gave, you know, you kind of gave everybody this game, but I remember you told me specifically and you kind of reiterated that. Yeah. You know, in the morning, be consistent, make your trades. And then in the afternoon, use some of your profits to kind of lean into a real nice setup. When you see it. Home runs, that, baby. <laughs> that changed that changed the game for me. That turned, you know, regular trade in the afternoon. Right. You know, regular trade or whatever. But that, you know, I, I could hit a regular eight to 10 point trade in ES. And it really kind of turns it into a 20 point trade, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so <laughs> that really changed me. And so then I started stacking those afternoons up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was like, wait a minute, I can really, you know, I kind of have <laughs> a method of operation that's kind of, you know, uh, consistent. And, you know, I can do this daily. And I'm not even really, I mean, I'm thinking about it, but I'm not even really going into every day. Or you know, tossing and turning at night, like, hey, what am I going to do tomorrow? I know exactly what I'm going to do, you know. <laughs> and I do it, <laughs> and it works out like and pretty much works. the same percentage every week. It, and and so <laughs> I really want to again. These are, <laughs> I, I mean, if someone's listening to this, they should be saying, "Man, this guy works a full time job." Yep, I used to work full time job too. This guy's in tech. I used to be in tech too. I don't know why I attract a lot of nerds, but I love them. So it is what it is. <laughs> but so, so we, you got the same hours in a week, everybody, yeah. you got the same hours in a week. One person has found a way to develop the mindset and stick to the system. And you're on your way to doing that's the only difference. Don't think about the money, the money validates. Yeah. And, and I'm it's, I have to do this so that people can say, all right, I, I don't, I feel uncomfortable every, think about it. When I do those trade recaps, I feel uncomfortable every week saying, Showing my trades, okay, another hundred grand. At some point, somebody's going to say, "Oh, this this guy, he's not real." Yeah, it just <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so it's nice to hear someone else who wasn't doing it before. Then they meet me, and they're like, "Okay," and your mindset shifted to man. Instead of trying to do this now, I'm not telling you, Mister Obvious, want to start going to hundred k a day right now or a week. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, 
can you see how you're tracking? Can you see right. how you're tracking toward that and saying, all right, it's just a matter of leverage now. It's just a matter yeah. of comfortability. And then if you, which is why when you guys see when I, I you know, trade the open, <laughs> whether I win or lose that trade, I, I'm, I have to take what I see because I have right. to stay in my routine. If I stay in my routine, I know I will come out at a certain number at the end of the day, week, month, year, every, every, every year. Right. And, and I think that's also where you're getting to. So a little while you, you, you took the training, you put into practice uh, you paper trade it. We should not uh, gloss over that. You paper trade it uh, as well. The wealth wells way, which is a specific trading system. All right. When, when you trade the wealth wells way, I am encouraging you to use real money in real markets. Just step it down. Don't yeah. use fake money. Don't use simulated old past old data. Trade with me while I trade live. You trade. You just right. deep out the money contracts or one contract on the future. Just something insignificant. Protect yourself now. All right. Yeah. Or micro micros or micro, very oh, well with the futures. Yeah. Micros. Oh, what is that like? I I don't trade the micros, but I mean five bucks. It's like yeah, it's like one tenth of. Of, of minis so you can actually have multiple contracts you can practice yeah. scaling out you know leaving runners so micros work very well paper trading and just excellent you can validate your edge yeah yeah with with options yeah. deep out the money contracts on spy i mean yeah. uh, exactly. what are we talking about like 20 bucks if right. you're not willing to risk and lose any money in the market you're in the wrong business you gotta you gotta put some skin in the game so with all of that having been said then you start to turn the corner with your mindset all right Let's talk about losses. Everybody, including myself, my hand is up, right? Everybody takes losses. How do you handle losses? I mean, it, I mean, at, right now, it looks like, correct me if I'm wrong, you're on track to hit the 1.2 in under 12 months. Is this correct? Yeah. All yeah, right, but, definitely. but you got to have some losses in there now. How, how, how is it that you're able to handle your losses? You know, I do, I do have losses. I've been... You know, I, I think in the last year, I was kind of averaging two losses a day, mm -hmm. mostly, you know, maybe one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And now it's uh, maybe a little under one a day. You know, I'll hit one loss in the afternoon. But again, my risk management is on point. So the loss, you know, it's never a big loss. And, um, you know, I've I've just I don't know, I think. I just think my trading style, my risk management style, I'm just not going to take a big loss. Like yeah. I'm going to stick to my risk management. And if I'm risking a thousand, I'm risking a thousand. If I'm risking 2000, I'm risking two. I'm not going to let it get away from me. I'm just going to eat the thousand, eat the 2000, whatever. And then because I know I can get it back, if I just keep going, I'm going to get it back that day. I'm definitely going to get it back this week. You know, that's just my mindset. <laughs> so it's not, I'm not worried about getting it back. It's just what mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's just kind of what it is, but mm -hmm. I just, you know, I, I really stick, oh, you know, I talk myself through the trade before I take it. This is what I'm risking, right? This is what I'm looking, you know, my risk reward. Uh, when it hits this level, I'm going to lock in. I'm going to watch. I'm going to take, you know, all the things I know what I'm going to do and I stick to it. And if it's a loss, it's a loss. I, I don't, I don't hope it comes back. If I was wrong, okay, I lost it and I was wrong and it comes back on me. Okay. That's just what it did. But I'm not, I'm just, my personality doesn't lends itself to holding and mm -hmm. taking, you know, a huge, huge, big loss. That's just not, you know, me right now. So, mm -hmm. and, and, um, and you're but, right. You shouldn't. Yeah. But you know, I've, 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 I've had, you know, I've been down a couple thousand. I've, I've, you know, I've lost a few thousand here and there. And, you know, I've, um, you know, I had a couple of days where I had to scratch and claw my way back and, you know, get back to green and all that, you know, I've done that, but, yeah, I've I've been fortunate and just been sticking to my plan. No huge losses to this date. You know, I'm yeah. I'm just not going back. I think I think that back to back uh, 25 and 35k um, loss <laughs> for a month way back when I first started. I think it did something to me. I just don't want that anymore. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> and and I tell the story of the old dog on you know many times uh -huh. and that dog sitting on that nail. When things become so uncomfortable, that's when you'll you'll act. Most yeah. people and yeah. you'll you'll finally. Stick to the DAC, divide and conquer yeah. account management strategy. You'll finally stick to your, your risk management yeah. strategy and, yeah. and, and you'll piece together a nice set of wins to give yourself the right. confidence you need. And then right. you'll, you'll roll on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I just, I just keep moving forward. You know, my, you know, it's, it's 
I all I, I just always have confidence that you know it you know if the day is not so good or even if the day is bad, it, it, the week is not going to be. Bad. It's going to turn itself. There's going to be an opportunity. I'm going to be ready for it, right? And and you know, I'm I'm coming out. You know, I'm coming out the day green now every day. Mm-hmm. I haven't had. I haven't had a red day. I can't even remember. I have to look back. I think it's been probably four or five months now. I haven't had a red day. But no, no, hold on, hold on. We we can we 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 definitely we not have a red week. We can't speed <laughs> by that because there is a guy out here in his videos. He says, "I don't have red days." Right. Oh, well, this is a guy. Right. Then Tweeby, we do the interview with Tweeby. Right. Tweeby said, I ain't had a red day in months. Now that yeah. was months ago. So I don't even know. Once we catch up right. with Tweeby, I don't even know the last time, she, time she's had a red, you know. So it may be a year. Then here we have another person. I don't, and it, I want to be clear. It's not that we don't take losses. It's that right. I am not going to end the day red. I have the trading right. skills to stay with it and to help you do the same thing. And I'm happy that you, you know, very transparent, yeah. very transparent. Yeah. All about the DAC for me, you know, DAC, proper risk management. Um, even, like I say, again, when I take my losses because of my risk management at DAC, I know I can come back from it. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. you know, that's just the confidence I have right now. I know I can come back from it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 hey, you, you, I can't say it any better than that. Um, Let's talk about uh, as we as we continue to really just give you your flowers and and talk about the next steps. Now, obviously, the the seven figure mastermind that and how I work with individuals, hold you guys accountable, all that cool stuff. That really is just the beginning. Now, you can't really talk about eight figures with people because it's too big, right? You got to start. Help them to get four figure days, help them to get five figure days, then six figure months. And like, okay. But when I say that SPX, ES, SPY, the market, the big boys, they don't care nothing about your 100, 1,000, $100,000. It, oh, no. it, it oh, don't no. do anything to the market. So to pull it out of the market is just as easy. All right. So I want you guys to understand that half of the battle is getting you to believe in yourself. That's half the battle is to get someone to say, hmm. I, okay, this guy's got a winning system. He's proven it. I can follow the levels every day. He understands volume, volatility, price action. Now I got I to gotta put the work in. So let's talk about like your routine then. Daily, what's your overall, you don't have to get into the, the weeds, but what's your overall routine to trade the market to get ready to crush this thing? Oh, yeah, I do the same thing every Every day, every week, you know, uh, tighten up my levels, you know, uh, every week, Sunday, you know, before, you know, make sure we're good there every morning. Um, um, I have a teenager in high school. So every morning I get up, uh, I take, I get up at six. Uh, I take him to school. Uh, he's in school by seven. I come back home, I take a walk uh, or run. And I'm usually, you know, it's about 30, 40 minutes. So about seven, 30 or so, you know, that that's that's good enough to kind of wake me up and get me going. I come take a shower, uh, come down, get my coffee, my breakfast, so forth. You know, start looking at the charts, seeing where we were. You know, seeing where we went the night before. That's if I haven't taken an early bird special. An early bird special kind of breaks that up a little bit. Early bird you know, special yeah. is money early in the bank, special. man. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I, I'll see where I'm at in my position if if I'm in the early bird or if not. Uh, you know, I just kind of see how everything is shaping up, and I just start. Uh, making my thesis and my plan from there, you know, if everything moves accordingly uh, to the open, you know, uh, of course, if we have news like we did this morning, 830, watching the news, trading a little bit of that, um, you know, just uh, full disclosure, I, I really want to kind of get better at trading the, the news in the morning at 830. I'm pretty much just a scalper in it and so forth. So I do mm-hmm. pretty good with that. But, you know, I still got a long way to go as far as learning how to trade all aspects of the market. But, um, Yeah. So that's what I do every day. Every day I do the same thing. And by the open, I know what my plan is. I know where my levels are. I know where my targets are. My if then thesis statements. If this taking the trade, if not sitting on my hands, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, we wake up, we do it again tomorrow. Yep. That's what I do every day. Every day. We are extraction specialists. <laughs> my yeah. job is to extract money out the market and help everybody in the community do the same. Yeah. Well, listen, man, I mean, I'm proud of you. 
I, I, I hope that I express my appreciation for all the moderators and specifically yourself and what you guys do in the market. But uh, this is an opportunity to talk about just how far you've come. And um, really, we're just getting started. I mean, if you can think about the possibilities here, if, if, if you can get this far, what else does this guy, KD, have in his old noggin to help you get to the, <laughs> the next level? I'm happy to share it. Um, obviously, I can't share the next level with everyone because you're just not there and you will. And part of that, part of why I don't have a um, a, a channel where everybody just posts money all day is yeah. because, number one, um, it's stupid. OK, that's number, number one, it's stupid. Number two, it's unrealistic. Number three, it influences the new trader into a, a element of gambling, right? When yeah. people, it's okay to show proof. I'm okay with all of that. And this is the proof. We got other videos to prove whatever. But when you when you don't know how to trade and you see other people making money that you don't even know is real, you have no clue. The guy says he made 400%. He put a dollar out there. Right. A dollar, like really, dude? Right. Right? You don't know, but it your brain doesn't know how to judge that. Your brain just says, right. oh man, Whew, they're making money. I got to get in. You chase. Right. right. Or you start thinking <clears throat> this is easy. Right. Right. And even if and, and, he, and even if it is true and even if you believe the guy, everything is true. Everybody's making all the money. Even even with Katie, uh, you know, mm -hmm. honest, this is an honest moment, guy. Even with Katie, when I first started looking, I was like, man, this guy's doing this. I didn't understand how I would react mm -hmm. to the money and having that much money in the market and mm -hmm. seeing the position go up and down and seeing the candles. <laughs> open. Because it is a different thing when you have money in the market. And the candles start to go up or down mm -hmm. against you. You just don't know how you're going to react. And that's where, mm -hmm. again, that's where paper trading comes in. That's where, you know, figuring out a system. For me, it was points. Figure out a way to take the money away from it. To me, it was points. I was like, look, I don't care how many contracts I'm trading when I'm paper trading. I want the points. And my goal was 10 points a day. And then my goal became 20 points a day. And I was like, when I can get 20 points a day, I'm ready. I don't care what I'm trading. If I can get 20 points, I can get 20 points. And that and that's kind of the way that I don't know, trick your brain or you know, whatever you want to call it. But that's what helped me. Like, I don't care about the money. I'm just going to get good enough where my edge can get me 20 points consistently. And I know I can get it. And I know I can recognize certain things and indicators and volume and volatility and all the stuff we talk about. I can use all those things to get 20 points and forget the money because the money. It is weird how the money will make you. Right. It's like, <laughs> OK. <laughs> It's it's ten dollars or it's a hundred dollars or it's a thousand dollars. Why am I behaving so differently? It doesn't matter. The candle is doing the same thing. It doesn't yes, matter. The candle is doing the same thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and you and you know why? And so we talk about this a lot in the KD after dark session. We talk about this a lot yeah. in the mindset Mondays, but it, it's it's psychology. It's it's the yeah. understanding of your upbringing and your environment and how you see money. Right. What happens is people see money one way. They attach it to the candle, and now the candle's movement represents success or failure. Oh, I'm making money. Oh, I'm a failure. I'm making money. I'm a. That's what happens subconsciously. But when you hit these breakthroughs, like you know what, man, and like you, I love, I love when folks. Honestly, I have a lot of success. I'll say this, okay? This so don't nail me to the stake on this. Everyone in the Discord that's going to hear hear this, but I have a lot of success trading or the training people who have had some success in their career more than training people who have never done something or been successful at it. Okay. I'm going to say it again. I've had more. If I look at all the people, thousands of people I've worked with throughout my life, the overwhelming majority were people who had tough through something and it doesn't have to be for money. Stay at home moms. They've raised five kids and then they've become incredible traders. I've trained them. Uh, techs, Nerdies, doctors, dentists, uh, you, you name it, folks that have construction workers that could build a house like that. And they, when they <laughs> drilled in, it was uh, all of these folks. One thing they had in common was that they understood what it took to be successful. They knew it was going to take blood, sweat and tears. And so that helped them separate money from the market, money from, OK, forget the money you know, risk management, but I need to make sure I practice proper trade execution. Yep. When you do that, milestones have been hit. Milestones. Yep. 
It's been let it stack up. Just let it stack up after you uh, get that. You let it roll, man. All right, so we'll open it up. We got a. We'll go for another couple of minutes here. We'll open it up inside the Killer Wells private channel. All right. Anybody have any questions for any one of us, Mister Option One or KD? You guys hear me talk enough. This is uh, some of the first times I'm showing my face. I don't do it a lot. I don't care to personally, um, and I am not a social media or a YouTuber. So I, you know. What? My team is like, you need to do it more. But I'm like, look, I ain't got time for that. However, I felt it appropriate for us to kind of just have a kickback section here and uh, really get after it. All right. So let's see here. SDJ, it's the understanding discipline, routine, hard work goes all together. It does. It does. Absolutely. Absolutely. I see a number of folks typing. We'll wait until you. Uh, oh, like Carl. Carl is getting somebody. Carl is. Yeah, he's he's on somebody. I don't know who that is. You may want to type it one at a time or send it to send it to a mod, Kim. Uh, I don't know. I think it's Kim, yeah. Yeah, Kim. I don't know, Kim. Send it to a mod. We want to get or put it in the uh put it in the Zoom chat. You can put it in the Zoom chat there. So there you go. A question from Tumbio, uh Luna. When you're thinking about 20 points, is that per day across contracts or how? Uh for me that's that's per day. For me that was my goal per day, something that I thought was reasonable that I can reach, something that I thought I could be consistent with, you know, and again, that's, you know, that's my floor. Like, um, you know, uh, you know, some of the days when it's really, really tight, you know, you know, it's, it's just tough, but on an average day, if I'm not pulling 20 points, uh, it, it's, I'm just not focused and I just, you know, uh, you know, I'll just sign off and say, okay, see you guys later, right? But, you know, again, that was me. I worked myself up to it, you know, five to 10 to 20 points. Once I got consistent there, that's when I went with real money. And yeah, that's, a, that's a, you know, that's across any contracts I'm trading. Um, I started off with one contract and yes, just full disclosure. Now um, I trade five contracts and up. So, you know, uh, my first position is always five contracts and I kind of, you know, I kind of move up there depending on how the day feels and catching up and by the afternoon, I'm usually picking one or two trades to go 10 contracts, uh, 15 countries, you know, it just depends on how we're doing today. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of full disclosure where I am. And, and, you know, with ES, if you do five contracts and you get 20 points, that's, uh, you know, that's 5000 That's $5,000. So, if you do five contracts, 20 points, 5K, 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 average 20 uh, trading days in a month, that's 100K. And so if you kind of, you know, I just kind of keep that as my baseline and I work from there. And that way, you know, like I've shared before, by the end of the month, I'm usually at 100K by the last week or beyond it. And then I can use those profits. I just kind of put my stop at like 101K and, you know, not gambling, but, you know, really taking advantage of the opportunity. You know, and just really pushing it when we can push it, um, you know, and uh, um, yeah, yeah. So that's just kind of what I do. Nice, nice. And let, let, so someone said, asked another question. I'll interject. Can you count ticks on options? The answer is no, but you can count the ticks on ES as you should be if you're yeah. trading options and futures, which you guys know I trade them both. So I'm always aware of the ticks. However, you can set the same parameters on points inside of spy you can just say you know what i'm gonna i want to get uh you know a a one dollar move i want to get a 50 cent yeah. move i want to get three 50 cent moves today or three 30 cent moves right. it's the same right. ideology right. we're talking about having a defined specific goal and distance for your trades every single time you take a trade and that will dictate your success all right so another question okay how do you manage with working a full-time job from, uh, ah, here, great Z. question. I, I've had a few people ask me this in the group, you know, probably and so forth. Now, I will be honest. I um, I have uh, uh, a little bit of a, a great situation here. So I uh, currently work for Starbucks. You know, I um, I have two teams and Starbucks is, you know, we work off West Coast time. I'm East Coast. So um, uh since I'm in upper management and so forth, I attend the standups in the morning, which usually when everybody gets in, it's about nine to nine thirty. I do some standups, maybe nine to you know ten. 
uh, West Coast time, which is about lunchtime for us, right? And so really, I'm doing my first meetings. I may have a one-on-one with some people maybe a little earlier, but most days I'm in my first meetings around lunchtime. It's kind of when, you know, I'm just kind of managing my position or out of my positions anyway, you know, after, you know, 1130. And and the teams, you know, they get to work and so forth. And so uh, I guess what I'm trying to say, I don't really have my real meetings until about four o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Eastern, which is one o'clock there, one thirty. That's when, you know, everybody's back from lunch and, you know, we're going to have our meetings for the day and make our decisions and so forth. And so I have a huge block in the morning and then I have a huge block in the afternoon where I can trade every day and I work and, and, you know, in between those blocks. And so since I'm working off West coast time, but I live East coast. Yeah. I have long days, right? My day doesn't really end about eight, eight thirty every day, but <laughs> I can take advantage of that and, and trade in between those times. And so I really do have a big block of two big blocks of time that I can trade. Nice. Nice. All right. Hopefully that answered your question. You got another one coming. All right. Someone said, uh, da, 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 da. I see that you took the wealth wells trainings to a month. Did I understand that correctly? Is it possible to, I think he means to take all of them faster than that? How long does it realistically take to internalize the information? I'll, I'll, I'll stop there. So mm -hmm. th that's probably okay. for you. That's not for me. I'm the guy giving yeah, it to I think, I think to each his own. I just, again, you got to know yourself. You got to know what you're doing, what you're capable of doing. Again, you know, I, I just kind of, at some point you got to block out everyone else and just focus on yourself and talk to yourself and know yourself. And I know me. I'm... I'm a person, I like to really digest stuff, really get into it, uh, break it down, implement a little bit. So, yeah, I, I averaged about two trainings a month, zero, one, uh, two, three, four, four point five. You know, so it took me about, yeah, about two and a half months to take all six trainings. But during that time, I would take zero and one and I would really implement it into, you know, what I'm doing. OK, I'm going to do this every day. I'm going to, you know, follow exactly what Katie tells me every day. And when I feel like I got that. All right. Two and three. Oh, man, this is great. More knowledge. So implement that. And then by the time I got to four and five, it's like it's like the floodgates open. It's like everything <laughs> open. I'm like, oh, man. And and I'm for me, I'm glad I did it that way, because I don't think that I would understand training four and five the way I did if I haven't really hammered the previous trainings home. I, I know we just want the information. OK, I got it. I got it. I got it. But I'm the kind of person I know that, ah, Travis, you don't really have. It. You don't got it. You know, you got to really you know, lean into the notes, lean into everything he's, he's telling you and put into practice. I'm a, I'm a, a tech guy by heart. Uh, I really, I'm an engineer by heart. I need to see things put in practice. I need to see a POC, a proof of concept is what we call it in the business. Mm -hmm. You know, we call POC something else different in the trading world, but I need <laughs> to see that proof of concept. I need to see it built uh, and, 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 all the components back end, front end working. That's just the kind of person I am. I, I'm, I'm not the comp kind of person. I'm not going to take six to eight trains like, all right, let's go. That's that's not. Yeah. So no. know, know thyself. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Another one. He says, uh, Marvin Green, did you start with options? Are you doing them at all now or strictly just the futures? Uh, yes, I did. I started with options and the futures. And then, you know, I kind of, switched over doing my paper trading journey. I switched over primarily to futures. I don't know, me and me, me and futures just kind of jive well together, I feel like, you know, for the way I trade. You know, I do I will do options every once in a while. Sometimes, you know, if you guys hear me and uh, you know when I say I'm double dipping or doubling up, you know, <laughs> I'll 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 follow Katie's lead. I'll I'll grab a, a S XPS or whatever or you know I'll try to grab a zero. You know it, for me, that's mostly in the afternoon, again, using the morning profits, you know, to, you know, to just kind of put a stop on. All right. I know I'm good. I've made this for the day. I'm going to use these profits to, you know, buy some extra futures contracts or to grab maybe an XPX, you know, contract or two or whatever. So, but yeah, mostly I would say mostly options. I'm 90 percent. Uh, I mean, mostly futures. I'm 90 percent futures. Nice. Definitely. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's keep the train rolling here. Um, someone said, which training do you recommend for futures? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> are you an expert? Are you an expert in futures? 
if you're not an expert in futures, all of them. And, and again, it, it, it's funny, Katie, you laugh because you would not believe how many people who are not part of the wealth wealth ask me this on a weekly basis. You would not believe. And I know what they're trying to ask. They're like, hey, would you mind just showing me the secret? That's the real question, right? That's the that's real, the real really question. Want, yeah, this that's is what the people do. Let me tell you, I had so many scammers, man. Scammers say, man, I, I recorded but, this guy right, and, and I, right. I'll give it to you for $25. Hey, man, right. you, you can take whatever training right, you want. Right. It but, is about the process. Right, you right. have to understand that you yeah. need the full gamut. You right. need time in the market yeah. and you need a person, a community, right. a person to say, don't do this. Do this. Yeah, right. If you ain't got that, look, more power to your brother. Do you. Yeah, Kate, Katie won't let you take the futures training until you've taken all the core training. You're not. And if you really dive into the core trainings, you should understand why he's doing that. Because if you don't understand the core, you really don't have a strategy. You're just guessing. That's all you're doing. So you got to understand the core before you get into the futures. You know, people who are interested in the futures. It just it, it doesn't do you any good to just say, "Oh, I want to trade futures." Doesn't do you any good if you don't no. understand the core. No, doesn't thank you for good. saying that. Here's here's why. <laughs> I bet you. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy you said that. I bet you somebody's saying, "Oh man, he switched over to futures, and this is what he's gonna do." That ain't what that man said. That man did not say that. That man said he trades options when the opportunity is there. He primarily trades futures because it just works better for him and jives with him. But when that move is happening, he's going to grab an options trade now. Come on, folks. But it don't yeah. matter. You have yeah. to understand how the market works. That's it. You got to understand how this thing is moving, why it's moving. I, I, I could trade bubble gum if I understand how it's moving. Right. 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 right? All right. right. Okay, somebody said, uh, all right, we'll switch over to the other chat now and answer some of those questions. Okay, all right. I think uh, I think you've answered a couple of those. Someone said, I like the idea of setting a 30 cent to $1 move for options and a ticks or points for futures. Okay, very nice. Somebody said, uh, were, mm, were making errors ever an issue for you? Basically trading outside of your edge. That's a good question. Oh yeah, big time when I was paper mm -hmm. trading. Uh, before I was, and the reason, you know, when, when Katie recommended, hey, paper trade for six months, and the reason I knew I needed to do it because I was just making execution errors. I was, I, I was making all kind of errors, right? And, and all throughout my paper trading journey, I was making errors. And I told myself, look, you're not going to get off paper trading until you clean up all these errors. And I mean, stop loss. I mean, entries. I mean, you know, yeah getting out of trades, just setting orders. I mean, I went through all the errors, you know, buying too many contracts, buying too little contracts, just not having a thesis. I, I went through all of it. And, and you know, my recommendations for that, and I've just told a couple people this, is pick one or two things and perfect that and then move to the next thing and perfect that. And I know it seems like, oh, it's going to take forever, though. I got like five things on my list. So what? So what? Do, we all do. Do one, <laughs> do one thing a month. Like get good on entries, then get good on exit, get good on your thesis, hold into your target. You don't have to do them all at once. I recommend don't try to do them all at once because it, it's know, too much. My experience, yeah, you'll turn a good trade into a horrible trade. You're like, man, I was, I was, that was it. And you just screwed up. You're like, how did I end up negative on that trade? It, was, it did exactly because, you know, you, you, you're, most of us are trying to do too many things at one time and we're not really good at any one thing. And because we haven't given ourselves time, because again, we just, we just want to be successful. We want to yeah. be part of the cool kids club, I guess, in our, in our minds or something. Or we, we, we just want a lot of guys, you know, come at me and you guys know this. So I'll say this again. I'll say it publicly. If this will be out there, I don't respond to DMS. You know that I don't respond to friend requests. You know that if you want to get in touch with me, you'll open a ticket in the discord. I don't have anything to share with you in the private on the side. I don't trade for you. I'm not making you any money on the side. None of that junk. You want to make money, go through the process, put the work in, get in the community, stick around, and you will get better. That's just how it, our community and Mr. Obstacle, you can back me up. We don't have a lot of, we don't have any junk going on. We don't have inappropriate mess going on. We're not talking about social media while we're, we're trading. We're trading. Right. I'm not here for all of the extra. Can we talk about it after? Yes. Lord knows I go on enough rants <laughs> in my KDs after darks, right? And, and we're going to take those to the next level where we get more people involved in those. And that's fine. 
But I am here for one purpose primarily with trading, baby. And my my passion is to get others to the same level that I'm at trading for us to be elite traders together and go on to trade even more and invest in other things. That's that's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So if if you want to get there, like like Mr. Obviously one just said, trust the process, folks. That's that's what I can tell you. Trust the process. It works. It, it's not a secret on how you know that it. It works, it clicks, and the things that I tell you are coming from experience. Again, you I have never met one millionaire develop someone that hasn't become that hasn't been a millionaire already. It doesn't, it, you can't do it. You need to understand what right. you're doing, just like a good trader. But if you can wrap your brain around that, if you can just say, hmm, of all the people on, on YouTube, I found this one guy. <laughs> you can wrap your brain around it, man. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this. Right now, we're having a good time. If you can wrap your brain around that, then eight and nine figures is not far off. I know, I know, you're like, oh, God, here he goes. Look, all right, you, look, <laughs> you don't have to believe me. The proof is in the pudding. Somebody says, okay, we'll take one or two more questions and we'll wrap it up here. We got about eight minutes left. Uh, all right. Do you find yourself mostly scalping to get to 20 points or long holds? Um. You know, to, ah, to me, that's a weird question. Um, you know, whatever the market gives me, you, know, you guys been in the channel. Like, you know, I, I trade to my levels, uh, my key targets, you know, um, you know, you know, again, depending on volume and the day and so forth. So me, um, I would say on average, I think when I look at my metrics, um, you know, my trades on average uh, have been uh, about right at six points, like 5.89 points when I do the math. I keep this, I, I like do a spreadsheet. You know, I'm a, I'm a math nerd guy. So I do a spreadsheet and I do the math. And it's like about six points. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking for opportunities and they, and they just end up averaging five to 10 points. Like the way ES usually sets up and my levels and the target, most of my trades usually, they average somewhere between five and 10 points. Am I, am, I'm not looking to scout to 20 points, but if the day is a scalping kind of day or a day, you know, one candle break or take your money, then that's what I'm doing. So whatever the day gives me, that's what I'm doing. And like, you know, I may, I may have, you know, three or four one candle breaks that day and I'll do that. And then, you know, you know, that, that'll get me up to 10 or 12 points. And then I'll have one trade that's, you know, eight or nine points, you know, and now, you know, I'm at up to 21 or I may have a morning where I have four trades. And, you know, I got a five, I got an eight, I got a six and I got a 10. Right. And then the afternoon, you know, I get a bigger trade. So it just it, it, it really I'm kind of mapping out like today. I'm kind of mapping out how we're moving, what the market's doing and, you know, what's the potential and how it's shaping up around my levels and, you know, uh, some of the key levels that KD calls out and so forth. I'm setting my targets and I'm holding. So, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll pause for a second. VIX is at 15.68. VIX is going to hit 15.22, pivot level 14.94. All right, we'll wrap it up in a minute. But you know, you said something interesting. It sounds real similar to something that I heard a guy say once. I don't know his name. I think his name was KD. Time in trade, T-I-T, -T, time to target. I, I, uh -huh. Sounds kind of fuzzy. I can't remember these metrics. This guy, <laughs> he told everybody you have to track that, building your trade identity. There's a free video out there on YouTube. I, I don't, anyway. Yep. Really smart guy. You should look him up. <laughs> anyway, having fun, guys. I'm just having fun. But uh, anyway, all right. Well, you know what? I think this is a good this is a good uh, time to wrap up and say um, we are um, we're on a journey. We're on a journey to create successful traders. And when I started this, I had no clue of the framework. I just knew I did not want to be in a community where everybody's cussing and fussing. And they posted inappropriate pictures <laughs> and they're talking about stupid mess. And then a guy dogs another guy and they're you know, yelling at other person, yeah. they're cussing everywhere. What? I knew it. I'm no, I'm not ever doing this. But I also knew that I I I knew more than the, the majority of traders trading, and I and I knew that their system was flawed. I tried to help some and got shot down. So I said, you know what? Hey. Let me just get in my own situation. And it, it, we're just getting started, quite frankly. It's going to grow. Mr. Options 1, I'm sorry to tell you, you're going to get a lot of scammers. I'm sorry, man. 
<laughs> so it is yeah. what it is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it is what it is, man. You're going to get a lot of that. You're going to get folks that coming at you, what have you. So um, we're here to help you guys. Any final words, Mr. Options One? Uh, no, I, you know, again, I just say, you know, the, the, the fastest way to success for the majority of us, the most of us is, you know, just going to be doing the work, grinding out. There's, I mean, there is no shortcut. I, I, you know, again, I've shared with some people, it seems like a long time, but it's really not. It's been two years and, and, and I was surprised when I looked at the calendar, I was like, wow, it's been two years, but you know, when it starts rolling, it will just keep rolling. And you will look back and you'll be like, man, why was I worried about how long this is? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. literally take the time that you need to take to validate your edge and put the things that Katie is teaching us in practice and be confident in them. You know, I mean, I think all of us know the main thing is, you know, your own confidence and what you're doing. But again, it's on you. Katie can't make you do it. You have to take the time to practice to implement, to validate so that you can build that confidence for yourself. There is nothing he can do to make you confident in yourself. You have to do that work. And so, you know, just decide to do that. Decide is, you know, what I'll leave everybody with, you know, decide. Nice. Like, everybody write that down. Look at it every day. Decide. Mm -hmm. Like, just decide to do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what I did. So. Very nice. Hey, well, listen, we appreciate you guys. I'll do one Last thing and help you guys out if you're wondering. For all of you guys stuck around this long and you're and you're wondering, uh, what do you do with this information? Like, okay, I, this guy is crushing it. I, I heard a lot of good points in here. I heard a lot of gems. Uh, he validated everything Katie's been talking about. I've most a lot of you guys came in and joined when Mr. Options One joined. That's really what's going to overcook your grits. You're like, man, I joined the same time this guy, right? That's okay. Everybody moves at their own pace. All right. But the final thing I'm going to share with you guys, can you see my screen? Everybody see my screen here? All right. Yep. Now we, we talked about these levels here. All right. All that cool stuff. That's not what I want you to see. What I want you to know is where do you go from here? All right. Here's the resources. As we've said it a million times, you got the link tree. It'll be attached to the video. I've got the core training right here. It will take you to the wealthwellstraining.com. You've got training zero, one at a time. You can toe tap it or bundles, zero and one, then two and three. You have to go in order. You cannot take them out of order. If you have a full-time job, Mr. Options once said something interesting. He said, uh, he said the early bird special, right? You guys heard that early bird special, right? That is a setup I teach to anyone who is working a full-time job. You must master Four setups, it comes with the book or as optional additional video training. I break it down in the book and then I give you the video, option to buy the video if you want it. All right. And then, of course, I've only got two indicators. I'll end up with four, all our volume based, all our real time, all manipulate the data so that I it presents itself to me in a way that I want to see it. All right. The VVP indicator and the volume profile. All right. It's been a monster day. I released these levels earlier in the week and you can see we're cooking. We're cooking.